What's going on everybody? I'm back again with another video and I'm in Long Island City in Queens, New York, which is a neighborhood that's gone through a lot of developments and it has a beautiful view of Manhattan skyline if you go by the Hudson River. But behind me, if you go a little bit forward, there's a lot of skyscrapers that have been popping up and it wasn't like that back in the days. But we're gonna walk around here, party around Vernon Boulevard, then Jackson Avenue, make our way deep down the other side to show you what's going on in the neighborhood. So I'm gonna take you guys with me, so join me. So this is part of Jackson Avenue. And when you see those buildings over there, that's Brooklyn, specifically Greenpoint, which is the northernmost neighborhood in Brooklyn. So this neighborhood kind of borders with Brooklyn over there. It's the Pulaski Bridge, which will connect you Queens with Brooklyn. I've done that a few times, but we're gonna walk over here where it's Vernon Boulevard. We're probably gonna walk towards the right because there's like a little main street happening over here to see what's going on, like the shops and the store. And then this part here is served by the 7 train, which is roughly like maybe 10 minutes or less from Midtown Manhattan, depending where you're coming from. But it's super convenient. And then if you go to the other side, it's Court Square, which you got like a couple of subway lines that connects together and Queens Plaza. So it's a pretty cool neighborhood and pretty diverse and a lot happening. But I'm gonna show you guys Vernon Boulevard. It's pretty cool and a lot of shops happening around here. And it just starts with this juice and bagels and it has a beautiful street art and part of the developments going on over here and then over here you can see the seven train subway line vernon boulevard and jackson avenue but now we're gonna make it towards vernon boulevard because there's a lot of cool restaurants over here and some of them they even have like the outdoor dining which is a pretty big deal here in the city but you'll see what's going on over here it's pretty cool so far pretty peaceful over here and it's usually a main street but you don't see like really much people unless you see them coming up the subway line but let's walk forward they got a couple of uh, high-end restaurants you know of all types of foods mediterranean italian burger joint and then they're labeled by order like you know 49th avenue 48th avenue and then if you go to the end there's like a lot of high-rise buildings but let's walk forward to so see a couple of developments business over here got a pharmacy like a local pharmacy and a pizzeria over here called Slice. Slice and Nice. And there's like a little local park over here with dogs playing around. And then my other side is more. There's even a taco food truck happening around. There's a little bit more interesting in this little section over here. Like more stuff to see. And it keeps going over here. Then across the street, they got more restaurants like Kebab House, Small Shop. And I think this is like a deli looking and then Turkish restaurant right here. It's pretty nice and fancy with the outdoor dining. Pretty cool. And I know a couple of locals that live around here and they say the restaurants in the street is pretty nice. I went to one restaurant over here, like a burger joint, and it was pretty decent. It was pretty good, so I guess they're pretty right, you know. It keeps going and you got an Italian restaurant over here. I guess smell the pizza from right here. And there's even like a, a backyard, I saw it from a distance. But yeah, like I said, this is a main street, but it's like a much more chiller vibe than other neighborhoods in Queens or New York City. And it's literally like right across the river from Manhattan. A lot of people, they focus on going to Gantry uh, State Park. But they got a neighborhood happening around here, so it's pretty interesting. And this is the place I've been, it's called PD's Burger. And I've been there like two times, I think, and the burger is pretty good, you know, it's a good, it's a good spot to have a burger if you're into that, you know. Now I'm gonna walk to the waterfront, which I've been there a couple of times, but I'm just gonna walk here and show you a little bit uh, the view of Manhattan skyline, and then I'm gonna make it to the other side of Long Island City, which I think is pretty interesting and it's pretty worth to explore. I already made a video a couple of times around it, but I'm doing like an update video to see what's happening nowadays. And then when you get off the main street, it looks, Pretty standard like any other neighborhood. But then it's combined with the new high-rise buildings that are being popping up over here. You can actually see Manhattan right ahead of me. Like I say, I've been a few times around this neighborhood. And what I know is that it's super, super chill, you know, super chill, convenient by the subway train, really close to Manhattan. And then you can walk around here and see the view, amazing views of the city. I think we're when they do the Macy's fireworks for 4th of July, I think it happens right in this neighborhood by the park. 
where you get an amazing view of the fireworks. It's like every time I come to this neighborhood, you see like new developments like this. Like a condo, and then over here, it seems like they're developing something else when they put the ceiling to cover up the road. That way it doesn't do any damage to the uh, sidewalk. But yeah, like I got his business in the first floor then. Apartment compass, and we go ahead. It's a little bit more of the high-rise buildings. And here you can see the high developments of this side. And then if we walk forward, is the park, the main attraction that a lot of people come. And it's a place that I recommend if you visit New York City to come here with a short subway ride. And it's a free park to come here and, and admire the view of Manhattan. Okay, let's walk forward and then if you go to the other side, you'll see the Pepsi Cola sign. Which I guess is an icon in this beautiful park. Another way to get to this beautiful park, Gantry Plaza State Park. You could take the New York City Ferry, which is $4, but it takes you, you know, around the river. And there's two stops over here, one in the north side of the park, another one in the south side of the park. The south side goes to Wall Street and 44th Street, and then the north side, it takes you all the way to Astoria, Queens. So it's for $4, you get amazing views of the city, and I highly recommend that you do that when you come here to the city. So, so far, peaceful and quiet, but just look at the view there ahead of me. We're in for a little treat. So let's make it towards the other side so I can show you the Pepsi Cola sign. But this is the park. No matter what time of the day you go, it's beautiful here. So here we are making it to the pier. And this is a great place to capture the sunset too with the view of the city. See over there, they got grass area. You can bring your pets. Some people that get to chill. They got like seating area. Even this like hot hammocks, I think it's called. So super relaxing, you know, a good way to get away from all the crowd of Manhattan right here. And this is what it got, like things you can lay down and a mile view that goes a helicopter. So the park keeps going, this is like the north side of the park. And then the Pepsi Cola sign is ahead of me and then there's a ferry stop that will take you to Astoria. Because in the other, in the other side of the park there's another ferry stop which will take you to another direction to Wall Street and the latest it will take you to is uh, 34th Street. But yeah, let me show you guys the sign of uh, Pepsi Cola so you guys can have an idea. So we got the icon of this park right here. Pepsi Cola right behind me. Like I say, it never gets old. Every time I come here, it's just amazing. And then with the view of Manhattan right there. And then you can't really see it clearly, but Roosevelt Island is over there. But this is an amazing place that you guys check it out. And they got a Queensboro Bridge. And that Queensboro Bridge is going to end in the other side, close to Queens Plaza. Well, I'm gonna make my way later to end the video around that area, but now let's go to the other side of the park. See what's happening, and then we're gonna make our way to Jackson Avenue and walk all the way to all the new developments that's happening in Long Island City. Literally reaching the other side of the park. And if you go ahead, there's like a restaurant, a bar. They got a couple of recreation areas over here in this park. And today's a little bit, a little bit hot day because it's summer. It's like like 91 degrees out here roughly like 34 celsius and then they decorate this here pretty beautiful with the flowers even got like a playground for kids so let's make it towards this way see what's going on there we're gonna make it to the other side of long island city across the river of manhattan there are condos over here some of these condos has been here for a while but then I think this one is probably the newest addition and I see they're building more. So the people that live here, they wake up to a nice view of the city. Because they have like a park here, people can play like football, you know, or just sit in the benches and relax. They can sit here. And that's where they got the restaurant and a bar, you know, and then you could go sit over here, chill. With a view of Manhattan Scott, I'm giving you a 360 view of what's going on over here. But yeah, this is a really, really nice park here, and it's one of the parts where you're gonna get an amazing view of New York City. If you're, if you're trying to go find somewhere where you can see the view of Manhattan, then I highly recommend that you check out this park. So that was a cool little walk by Gantry Plaza State Park. 
But now I'm gonna make my way to Jackson Avenue and walk it all the way by Court Square and Queens Plaza to show you the vibes over there. You know, a lot of high-rise condos happening over there. There's a couple of hotels. And then you get the view of the overpasses of the subway train that passes by and it connects, you know, around the neighborhood. So I think it's gonna be a really cool, a really cool vibe. And I think you guys are gonna like it, so stay tuned. So before I hit Jackson Avenue, I wanna walk over here because I wanna show you guys something. You're gonna see the view of Pulaski Bridge, which is the bridge that connects you with Queens and Brooklyn. And then the highway that takes you underneath the Queens Midtown Tunnel is right here. So I'm gonna show you guys a little bit ahead of me. As we walk around here, you can admire beautiful architecture right next to the Pulaski Bridge. Nice looking apartment complex, well developed. It's literally like right next to the highway. It goes under the water of the East River and it takes it straight to Manhattan. This is the Pulaski Bridge that connects Queens with Brooklyn. I crossed it a couple of times and they get a nice view of Manhattan. And then this is the highway that would take you underneath the Queens Midtown Tunnel. So it literally goes underneath the water, East River. And then when you end up on the other side, you're in Manhattan. So I'm not too busy today, or maybe the traffic jam goes ahead. I think it's also called the Long Island Expressway that will take you all the way to Long Island and other neighborhoods of Queens. So, but now let's make it to Jackson Avenue and we will walk it straight forward to where all the high rise buildings are in Long Island City. So you can see the developments and the changes that's going on over there. Into the Jackson Avenue, so now I'm gonna walk it straight forward. So ahead of me, you can see the high rise buildings. So it's like every day they be developing something new over here. But yeah, you're gonna see some interesting things ahead of me. So stay tuned for the train tracks. Still got some condo developments over here. Give you a free assist to view what's going on. And that takes you to the waterfront right there. So but I'm always fascinated. It's like every neighborhood that borders with Manhattan, it's like they try to develop like high-rise buildings. Like the same happens if you go to downtown Brooklyn. Then the same happens if you're in Jersey City, the Chains Place, Newport, it's mostly like high-rise buildings. And now in the South Bronx, they're developing some high buildings by Mott Haven. So I don't know, it's just like literally concrete all over. Also another thing, when you go to Court Square, they actually have a diner right next to the subway stop that serves the G train, E train, and I'm not sure if it's the M train or the F train, but yeah. There's a diner over there and I ate there the other days and I gotta say it was pretty good. I'm a fan of diners, so. If you're looking for a diner, they have one in this neighborhood. This is it right here. Look at the high-rise buildings. Before it used to be this building, but now they got a couple of neighbor buildings. And they keep popping up more if I keep walking back, which I'm going to show you guys in a bit. And this is the G train. I think that's the only subway train line that I've never taken, which connects uh, Queens with Brooklyn. So, But yeah, and then they got like a beautiful architecture right here. But let's go forward. It's mostly modern architecture. This is a nice looking building with a mural over there that says forever. The thing about this is like they're popping up all the buildings, but the neighborhood, if you walk around, it's not really much people, but I guess throughout the years it's gonna develop. And by the way, the last hotel review that I made was actually in this neighborhood, the Alof Hotel, which is a little bit ahead when I walk towards Jackson Avenue. But this is another option for you to stay if you're trying to find probably a little bit more affordable and close to the subway line and easy commute to Manhattan, then this could be another neighborhood you guys might wanna consider staying. Here they got a nice condo. Then underneath they got Trader Joe's, which is a supermarket chain that does like a competition with Whole Foods Supermarket. And then the seven train line passes like right here. So here's where you can do the transfers to other subway line. And then the Court Square Diner should be to my left side. But yeah, this is pretty interesting. So far no train is passing by. But I'm gonna make a right to show you like a little park they have at the end. So I'm walking over here to the end to show you a park that they have. And I'm not gonna lie, this over here kind of res resembles a little bit of Chicago. The loop, you know, with the uh, subway line over here, and, like the high-rise buildings, like a condo, and pretty clean the street. There you hear the subway line. I think it's gonna pass by. Let's see if we get a shot. So that was the 7 train, which is also known like International Line because it passes probably one of the most diverse neighborhoods in New York City or even the world. It passes like Woodside, Elmhurst, uh, and Jackson Heights. So that's why they call it like the International Line. There's another line passing ahead of me. So then this over here is the little plaza they have over here 
must be new, you know, with all this tall buildings. And then over there, I think this is where they keep some of the trains, like New Jersey Transit, I saw a couple of them passing over here. So it's not much going on over here, you know, it's just like an empty lot. But this is a point where people can hang out and then the other days I was here, I saw a couple of skaters. So yeah, you know, pretty interesting, but now let's walk back to Jackson Avenue and show you the other parts of the neighborhood. Over there, there's like a subway line connection and then ahead of me where you see that building right behind this yellow truck. It's the Court Square Diner, which it opens 24 hours. And like I say, I went there the other days and the food was good. I went in the inside and it has a pretty nice uh, decoration on the inside. So if you happen to be around the neighborhood, definitely check it out. But now let's keep walking through the main street, which is Jetson Avenue. to see all the uh, developments that's going on. I think you guys are gonna like it. They build a lot of buildings and they just keep on popping up more and more and more. So it's like it never stops. It's literally the concrete jungle every single block that you walk got a couple of shops around here and then you see the high-rise building like I said this building has been here for a long time but then like the neighbors around the surroundings they just literally are popping that up so and this is like a square over here and then they got a courthouse over there a little tiny courthouse and the design of the building kind of makes you feel like if you're in a small town this is court square park right here surrounded by all the high-rise buildings But yeah, it's a pretty chill vibe over here. So that's the building over there. It looks pretty simple, but it's a nice design, you know. So that's a courthouse right here in Court Square. Then I think if I tell you this is Manhattan, you guys would probably believe it with all this tall skyscrapers. But most of the buildings that are popping up over here is uh, glass buildings. So like I said, architecture from the past is really different from the architecture nowadays. Then another thing they call this also is like the new Chinatown because they got like a lot of Asian, Asian cool scene restaurants over here. You got one there, Xi'an Famous Foods. I heard it's like a chain restaurant or something like that. But yeah, see all the development going on over here and then We're popping up a new skyscraper thing over that way is a lot of hotel, which I stay there and I made a video. I made a detour to show you the street. It's like literally condos all over. I think almost all the buildings that they have here, they're brand new. An exception for this building. Sculpture Center, as you can see. I'm gonna walk in the middle of the street to show you guys. It's a dead end road, so there's nothing at the end. But yeah, high rise buildings and the way how it looks, how I look at it, kind of makes me feel like if I'm in an Asian country, like some of the streets look just like this. But I guess when it's about urban vibes, I guess, you know, no matter what city, what country you are, some of the streets are gonna look pretty similar. Another thing, they got some food trucks happening around here. And the prices looks pretty decent. I know ahead used to be more. But I've been looking at some of those food trucks and the prices look decent. I don't know if it caters to people who work around here in the office buildings or maybe some of the residents, but it's cool that they got like street food happening around a modern neighborhood like this. And they got like this statue over here. And then you can see they keep popping up more and more buildings as we get a close up. So it's like, in the future, this is going to be a lively neighborhood. Let me show you this building over here. It's like most of the buildings that are popping up here are just made out of glass. I think a highway passes over here. I'm not sure if this highway above me, it goes to Northern Boulevard. And over here, this is like a pizzeria. Got a halal joint across. Pretty cool spot, the way how they have it decorated. Then here you see, seems like it's more that they're going to build. They're already building one over there, there's one over there. One in the back, so it's gonna be a new, brand new city over here. Like every time I come, it keeps developing and developing. There's another restaurant over there. And then this is the hotel where I stay and I made a review. A lot of hotels. And now it seems like I got a neighbor happening next to it. So, so another development going on then. We got more over here. Like I say, it kind of looks like if you're in financial district in Manhattan. Then ahead of me is a couple of subway lines, which are gonna walk ahead and you're gonna see them passing above. This can't zoom, but it's actually a subway train going over there. Got a food truck and a lot of people here, so it must be pretty good Papa chicken. So then Queens Plaza is around here. And this is a pretty cool spot that you guys are gonna see ahead of me. So 
this is like a massive plaza right here, Queens Plaza, where all the subway lines, they pass, they merge. So you see the N train, the W train that goes to Astoria, passes over here. You can see it's passing right there. But when I came here for the first time, I was, I was just fascinated by the way how the subway line was passing above there. It kind of reminds me, like I say again, like if I'm in the loop in Chicago. But yeah, this is Queens right here. So we're gonna walk forward, because they got an area, like a little park over for bike lane. And if you bike over there, it takes you all the way to Queens Borough Bridge. And the park keeps going and they got a Thai street food. Wow, $9, $10, $10 a meal. That is actually pretty cheap. And then with the subway line passing here above, there goes the train again. Yeah, so I don't know why, I'm just fascinated by looking at the subway line passing above. So it's like they got this park over here, greenery, that you can walk around all the way towards the end. So this is like really cool to me, you know, surrounded by the skyscrapers and the subway line that passes above. So this is really beautiful right here. So I'm gonna walk towards that way. There's gonna be a bridge like a overpass with a subway line i'm gonna cross from one side and go to the other side to show you what else is happening in the neighborhood but this is a really cool neighborhood and i love taking the seven train when it passes above ground because you get all the view of all the skyscrapers and you can even see the main view of manhattan skyline which i think is pretty cool but let's walk forward to see what else is happening here's super developed bike lane that goes both angles we'll keep going forward and we'll take it to queens Borough bridge that is the bridge where the Roseville Island tram passes by and that's by. And one day, that was years ago, I made a video, I crossed the bridge by foot. And I was super scared because I'm scared of heights. And that's the bridge where not only is pedestrian, but you share with the bikes and the scooters passing by. So it could be a little intense. So hopefully in the future, they do something about it to make it more safe. But we'll see. And this is the overpassage over here. And I'm not going to lie, looking at that overpassage, brings me flashback when I was in Kuala Lumpur, Malaysia, which I got a train that passes over there. Also even in Manila, Queens, when, I mean, also in Manila, in the Philippines, when you take the MRT or the LRT, it's like that too, like they got the overpasses that will connect you with the line, right by the highway, Etsa, so it looks like that. So I'm just crossing on the top so I can go to the other side and probably get some views from over here to show you what's going on. This is it. And I'm not gonna lie, looking at this, it reminds me a little bit of the neighborhood of Cubao, Araneta, right in the Philippines. I stay around there, so it brings me vibes. And over here you can see Manhattan right there with the sunset. Because it's a pretty nice place to get a shop. If you have a camera or your cell phone, then we're gonna go and make it to the other side. So this is like a main subway station in Queens Plaza, serving the NW and 7 train. So now we're just gonna merge to the right and make it to the other side. You see the entrance of the subway line. We're gonna pass this other bridge and capture some views of the city and see what's going on. So this is the other bridge right here. And it takes you to the other side of the neighborhood and so far. Nothing crazy, but it looks pretty cool. So I'm gonna walk to the other side, see what else can I find. Once you go where the diner was, there's a beautiful street that has nice brownstone. So I'm gonna walk towards that way and probably wrap up the video over that side. Over here, the same deal, modern building, we're high rise, and then there's like an empty lot over here. So I assume they're gonna develop. Then if you go to the other side where the F train is by 21st Street, I think it is, it's a little bit different from over here. Not much going on or pretty much like more residential. And that's where they got the Queensbridge houses. So every block you walk around here is worth to see, see? Like development's going on and it makes me figure, okay, where should I go? Should I go that way or this way? I'm probably gonna walk straight. And there it is, I see a rendering. So it says mixed use. So it seems like they're gonna build another condo and then in the first floor, 
probably some stores or business. Wow, look how the sun reflects right in their construction. Then this is a new development going on over here. So I think I'll have a blast taking some Instagram pictures. Stay around here, there's a couple of hotels. This is the higher place. Literally right by the highway. So that's something that's pretty interesting. And if you keep walking forward, you know, you see more developments going on. And I like how the streets look pretty wide and clean. It's meant to be like a condo. More over here, like I said, there's a lot of Asian restaurants over here. The high rise building, and this is like a plaza. It's supposed to be taking me back to where I was walking. And then the sunset is about to fall down, so maybe the sunset is over here. And then it aligns with the New York City skyline, so. Pretty, inter pretty interesting, look at this. Whoop. It's like a playground of skyscrapers happening around here. And we have a plaza over here where people can sit. And there's a Target store ahead of me. And this is the back part of this building, which I was walking on the other side. Looking at this, it kind of resembles a little bit of J Street and Metro Tech in downtown Brooklyn. Where, if you know, modern buildings like this having like its own plaza. But this is in Queens, it's like every neighborhood and different boroughs resemble another borough. So, pretty interesting. So now let's walk forward to where the dino is so I can show you the other street. This sign over here resembles like if you're in another neighborhood with architecture like this. And if I merge to my right side in this block, I think if I'm not mistaken, it's gonna be a beautiful street covered with brownstone buildings. So this street is 45th Avenue. And once I'll show you what's going on ahead of me, you'll see how beautiful this street is. So this is the street right here. Look at this brownstone buildings. Like gives you a vibe like a feel in uptown, like in Harlem or in Brooklyn. But this is Queens, right by Long Island City. So you can see it's like if I'm walking under a tunnel of trees. And I believe in the fall season, it must be beautiful. So look at this buildings over here. Pretty nice. Then more over here. And like I said in many of my videos, I'm a huge fan of brownstone buildings. One of my favorites in New York City. So that was the end of my video exploring the beautiful neighborhood of Long Island City in Queens. It's an upcoming neighborhood with a lot of things to do. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. Stay tuned for more. Be safe out there. Everybody, God bless y'all and peace.